Hello, Randy Rain here, and I have the four spot and the three four spots. But this four spot is a little special. It's metallic blue, has a screw in the back of its head, and that's because it has a little smoke machine inside. So, this is... Randy Robot Garage! So in this video, I'm going to get this little blue four spot going. I've never seen one with a little smoke machine, so it needs a lot of work, I can tell. But get it going. Now these I've had, and this is one of my first videos I ever did, and there's gears inside these that I actually made that I do now have that I've purchased so I can replace them with real gears instead of the ones I made. And I'm going to be selling the two four spots. And actually this one here is a pyrobot, and I'm going to be keeping this one, but I am going to be selling these two four spots. So let me get these all fixed up and get this one going, and let's see what the little smoking one can do. We have the battery compartment looks pretty good actually. A little corrosion up in here. I can pull those out, but they still work. I didn't see any smoke that time, but I swear I think I've seen smoke before. Alright, let's open this bad boy up. <laughs> There's the little bellows there. Oh! That may be why I didn't see smoke, because it's only when I would have moved that arm would it have pumped out of there. Okay, it's best to start desoldering. Go ahead and take this off. gear is no good. That gear looks pretty okay though. That one's fine. Let's go into the head. Alright, let's see what happens if I put some voltage to the little smoke machine. Then start pumping here. Uh, there's some. Let's see what happens if I add a couple drops of oil. Well, that worked. You'll see on the other ones, this is so much better. Because this doesn't want to go through there. The original design was so much better. So that's a tin tooth and it is definitely split. And this one is splitting. I can see a crack forming. And this one, that one is split as well. Of course on these newer ones here they've like melted. I'm sure, oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. A lot of split gears here. Okay, we'll start with this shaft here. Pop that off. The gears on that shaft, they have to be drilled out. And then down here, I have to use the eight tooth with the lip on it. And I need to put it like this. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do it this way. Because this will trap in that gear. And then this new gear down here. It's going to grab a hold of that one. That'll be okay. Because the gear on the motor is a nine tooth. And it should have the lip on it to keep this one in. But instead I'm relying it on this one. So the rest of those gears look good. So if I slip this guy under there. Time to give it a test. Looking at looking at this broken gear here. I don't know if I have this gear. Yeah, so that's a bigger gear, and I don't have that gear. And it goes onto this thing, which is bigger. But you can see it's starting to crack. I do have this one. Put that on. Put there. So now I'm down to this guy. I changed out that crown gear because the other one had a bigger teeth. And then the gear that it goes to was cracked, and I don't have that, so I changed it out. And I figured out that this gear, I drilled it out so that this gear would spin, just to look at it. So if you hold it there, you can see that that gear is going to connect with that one. But it's too wide, because it goes underneath this hump. But the hump is really not that big underneath. So I need to shave down the gear to fit in there and correct size for the shaft. You can set up a jig on the drill press to make the hole more center and straight. And then just a belt sander to take it down to size. Okay, and I think the little spot I think the little dug out there will keep it in place. So it leaves these guys. Here's the pyrobot as 
I, that's my replacement over here. I can see this is a replacement of mine as well. And I can see gears down in there that I made. One of these I've already checked has the same broken gear for that hooks to this one. So I'm going to fix all of these just like I did the other one. Yeah, this one has this design, so you don't have to take these off. Yeah, I can see my 9 tooth gear here, a 10 tooth gear. I can see another one down there. Yeah, look what happened to my gear. I'm also, I think I can do the other configuration here. Get rid of that one. That's my 10 tooth um, I redid. If I take this off, turn this upside down. There. It's going to sit in like that. This gear is down here. It's going to get this 8 tooth gear here. It's going to lock it into place because it has the lip on it. Okay, I believe that will work. And now, I can put a regular 9 tooth gear on here. I think that's a pretty good configuration. Just using the little eight tooth down here with the lip holds this one in place. That one will hold this one in place. And so that doesn't need the lip here. And you don't need anything here. So I can just put a regular ten tooth gear right here. That's of course after I drill it out. And everything else seems to be good. But the grease they've put on here is turning to jelly. broken off on this one. Had to move on for a second. Move to the next one. I think I can copy that. All right, it's molding time. Got it on some clay. I have this piece that I made. Alright, I'm using this Dragon Skin NV-10. Yeah, I bought it for something else, but it'll work. Hmm, there's a gear here that I made. I made that gear and the tin tooth and the one down here as well. This one will work for the noisemaker. And that has to trap that gear like that. And that one won't be able to rise up. So that will trap that one in there. And then on the motor is a nine tooth gear. I think that's the best way.
So I have here three four spots and a pyro bot and I got two old four spots and you can really see the difference. I had to adjust all the gears just perfectly to even get these to go and you'll, you'll see. Now it, all of these are all geared the exact same way and they all have the new gear that I put down in here. Now there may be some gear ratio changes from the way it worked previously. But you'll see what I mean. When I turn this one on, but when I open these up, the little motor in there had spun a long time. Some little kid played with these robots. And you can see this one's a little bit faster, but about the same. You can see that one's a little bit better, but still, this one was played with an awful lot as well. And then you come to these. Now these are not as old as these are, so these are a few years later. And you can tell they've been played with less. So when I turn this one on... And then you're down to this guy here. Now, I've never seen one like this. It's the only one I've ever seen. So, I think it's a lot later than these. And it's definitely a lot less played with. And you'll see it here when I turn this one on. Now that's a four spot right there and it does put out a little bit of smoke you can kind of see it nothing spectacular or anything but anyway it does work and there's a four spot a pyro bot and two four spots now these two four spots i'm putting on ebay so if you need a well used four spot well i have one for you i have one with the blue chest with a yellow head or I have one with a yellow chest and a blue head, whichever you want, I have it. Check the eBay listings down below. So, if you like this video, well then please give me a like down there. I want to thank these people right here. These are patrons. These are people helping me out, helping me do these little four spots and get these robots working again. And there's some perks if you want to go check it out. Please do. There is a link anyway. Four spots that was Randy Robot Garage.